9 volt batteries, hard at work in two way radios and smoke detectors. But can these rectangular rascals start a fire or shock you dead? Let's separate myth from fact. Hello, I'm Dan Clark of the Safety Brief, tackling health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites. 9 volt batteries. They're still called transistor batteries by some manufacturers. Can they start a fire? Yes, it's a fact. When 9-volt batteries are stored, cover the contacts. Loose in a junk drawer, glove box, or map pocket, they could come in contact with a paper clip, gum wrapper, or other metal and short circuit. The short circuit generates heat. When you replace batteries in smoke detectors, two-way radios, and some other devices, the old ones are probably not fully spent. Often, these partially charged batteries, along with the dead ones, are stuffed into a recycling bag, commingled with metals. So even partially charged batteries should have covered contacts when stored, recycled, or trashed. What about dead 9-volt batteries? To recycle, the U.S. Department of Transportation says you don't need to cover the contacts. They say used or spent batteries with a marked rating up to 9 volt are not likely to generate a dangerous quantity of heat, short circuit, or create sparks in transportation. However, the National Fire Protection Association, the NFPA, says even used or spent batteries contacts should be covered for disposal or recycling. Recycling companies think the NFPA's advice is unnecessary and in conflict with the Department of Transportation, and it adds extra waste to the recycling stream. Use a meter or tester to make sure the battery is fully dead. Now on to the next myth. There's a 9-volt battery internet rumor about people sticking their tongue on battery contacts and dying. Rumor has it that there's a certain number of deaths each year from victims licking 9-volt batteries. This is totally untrue. I'm sure you guessed that. To kill a person, an electrical shock has to pass through the heart, causing arrhythmia. Even if it entered the body, a 9-volt current is not strong enough to cause arrhythmia. But also, it never actually enters the body. Lick a 9-volt battery, that tingle comes from current zipping between the positive and negative terminals across your wet tongue. That's all for this episode on 9-volt battery myths and facts. Come back for more ways to stay safety compliant in today's ever-changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, a service of Creative Safety Supply. Save 10% off of your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com with coupon code SAFETYBRIEF. That's one word, SAFETYBRIEF.